as you may know classic roller ski wheels have a well, what's often referred to as a ratchet which is a mechanism that uh, stops the wheel from turning in one direction so it simulates um, a snow ski a classic snow ski where you push down and you can and there's some kind of grip like uh, fish scales or special wax that grips the snow and you can then push off on that well they simulate that in a, in a roller ski wheel by putting in uh, what's referred to as a ratchet that stops the wheel from turning in one direction so you can push off on it and what actually is that ratchet well it's not actually a ratchet at all it's a one-way bearing sometimes called a clutch bearing or more properly referred to as a sprank bearing and this is it so you have roller ski with its normal external 608 bearings like that and spindle and if you didn't have this sprank bearing uh, it would turn in both directions but this little bearing here let's measure it it's uh, 20 millimeters outside diameter and the internal diameter is the same as that it's uh, 14 millimeters internal diameter and if you can see inside there are little uh, rollers in there and if you put this in a bearing arm you'll see it turns in one direction but when you turn the other way they bind and they, they end up locking so that turns in only one direction now this uh, spindle goes through the roll ski wheel like that through there and uh, that means that you have if you look at roll ski you don't have a hole here you have a little u-shape so the wheel can drop straight in it's actually got uh, if you look on here it's actually got little flats on there that stop the spindle turning so the whole thing is lock solid it can spin in one direction and not the other so this uh, inner bearing is actually fitted inside the wheel it's pressed in here so it's a, a very tight and interference fit I suppose you call that so that has to go in there like that and uh, then this will go together like that to give you your your one-way action on the wheel.